This video is entitled, Jesus Knows Your Heart. Don't worry about pleasing man, worry about pleasing him. Too many Christians nowadays are afraid to step out on a limb and say things that Jesus told them, that the Holy Spirit told them prophetically, that they believe to be true and that line up with scripture. They're afraid to speak about it because they're worried about what man thinks because man, and sadly, including it included in that group are a large portion of Christians just like to mock Christians that come out and speak for the Lord try to speak prophetically or speak in ways that people aren't comfortable with in ways that the Bible proves and shows to be factual or things that line up with the Bible as I mentioned earlier they're afraid to do it because they're afraid of what man thinks and you should never be afraid of what man thinks. There, there's no reason to be afraid of what man thinks about anything. The only one that can judge us is Jesus Christ. He knows our hearts. He knows our minds. He knows our motives. He knows exactly where we're coming from. So don't worry about man. Just be strong and just be close to Jesus Christ. And if you Jesus lays something on your heart, share it. Don't even be concerned with what, what man thinks because man serve Satan for the most part and sadly the church is so watered down so many false doctrines and so many false shepherds and pastors that are out there they don't teach the truth either and so when you start teaching the truth the uncut truth from the Bible even if you're not even talking about something that's prophetic or something or a dream or a vision that you had or word the Holy Spirit might have shared with you if you're just talking about just sharing pure truth out of the Holy Bible they don't want to hear it because it scares them. They feel threatened by it because they don't hear it in their church. Their preacher don't preach that way. Their preacher preaches watered down, prosperity doctrine, cheap grace, once saved, always saved. Doesn't speak out against homosexuality or don't, don't speak out against shacking up with other people, any other kind of adultery or any kind of sin. You know, just, they just don't care. They, they never get convicted. And so if you say things that are going to convict them, they're naturally going to be feel threatened. And they're going to get angry and lash out at you. But remember, my friends, when man lashes out at you, when you're persecuted for Jesus' namesake, and lift your head up and be, be happy and be proud and just say, wow, it's an honor to be persecuted for Jesus' namesake because these men that mock you and make fun of you and call you names, you won't stand before them in eternity. You'll stand before Jesus Christ. And what's important, my friends, is that we make our lives, focus our lives in doing everything we can to further the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven, to stay in the center, the very center of Jesus Christ's will, and to do exactly what we feel led by the Holy Spirit to do as long as it's biblical. And as long as we do that, as I said, Jesus knows our hearts. He understands our motives. And he's got our back. He's going to take care of us. As far as the doubters go and the mockers and the scoffers, they aren't even mocking you. <coughs> Excuse me. They're mocking the one who sent you, Jesus Christ himself. They're mocking the Holy Bible. And that's a big problem. Woe, woe, woe unto them. They have to deal with God on that issue. That's not your problem. Our focus needs to be just to be strong, stay close to Jesus Christ, and just remember, he knows our heart. He knows our motives. Don't worry about what man thinks. It's irrelevant. My friends, Jesus Christ is about to split the skies any second of any day now. I know people have been hearing this their whole life, but if you walk and you live in the prophetic circles like I do and like others do, we spend so much time looking at prophetic news, matching it with biblical prophecy, looking how everything ties in with the world and the Bible, and, and then put along with that prophetic word the Holy Spirit's given me and that God has given me in vision telling me that time is up and others have had this same type of prophetic word as well. Only God knows the day and the hour. We know that. But God told us he doesn't want us to be caught off guard. He wants us to know the season of his return. Give us discernment. And oh yes, we are in that season. I believe we're in the very end of that season as well. So the bottom line is we need to focus our efforts, redouble our efforts, even triple them. Reap the harvest, 
share the good news of Jesus Christ, share the gospel of Jesus Christ while we still have time. And don't sweat about man. Because I get mocked all the time, my friends. I get people try to beat up on me and call me names and make fun of me. And I get the whole gamut. So I'm telling you, I've got ministries all over the net. So I get it all the time. But again, it's my privilege to get that. But these people need to realize, these heathen <laughs> that try to attack me, they're attacking my master, Jesus Christ. They're not attacking me. They're attacking the Holy Bible, where I get my word from. So again, woe, woe, woe unto them. They got some serious answering to do and explaining to do to Jesus Christ when they stand before him. So that's the bottom line, my friends. Let's get ready. Let's do everything we can. The harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the fields. Where are the harvesters at? Jesus asked that same question. I'm asking it too. Where are the harvesters at? Let's stop worrying about what man thinks. Let's focus on what Jesus Christ thinks, what the Bible tells us we're supposed to think, and let's just not talk about it. Let's just do it. Get out there and work for Christ while we still have time. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray people would just not worry about what man thinks, but focus on what Jesus Christ thinks. Focus on what you have planned for our lives, my Heavenly Father, my Master. Help us to just stay close to you, to stay in your holy will, to do everything we can possibly do to further your kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And let's just, let's have Holy Spirit vision. Let's look through the guises and the, and the mockery and the, and the stuff that man throws and just keep our eyes on the prize. Keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, on the Holy Bible, and let the Holy Spirit, through Holy Spirit vision, guide our paths and our directions and our steps and show us the way. Wake us up, Jesus. Rebuke us, correct us, teach us, convict us. Get us out there working for you while there's still time. Because once you come back, our time is up to reach those that are dying and going to hell without you. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. And as always, my friends, if you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. And say, Jesus, I know that I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life. And I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. Risen again on the third day. Went back to the right hand of the Father. And since that time, you've been preparing a place in heaven forever for all Christians. Praise the Lord. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Please move into my heart. Cleanse me. Wash me with your precious blood. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. And if you pray this prayer, my friends, Jesus Christ says with his own words in the Holy Bible, that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Not some, not most, not a select few, but every single one. If you'd like me to pray that prayer with you, send me an inbox or a private message. You can call me. We'll pray on the phone together. I do it all the time on Facebook. I do it here as well. It's my honor to pray with you. If you have a friend, neighbor, or loved one who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you're sick, you have a sick friend, relative, a neighbor, a sick pet, if you need a job, transportation, a roof over your head, if you need water to drink, food to eat, you need clothes to wear, whatever you need, my friends, send me an inbox or a personal message. I prayed for and received the gift of faith. I have mustard seed faith. The Holy Spirit is powerful in me. I'm a nobody. I'm a slave to Christ, the least in his kingdom. But the Holy Spirit runs deep. He runs deep in me at the cellular level. And when I pray, I pray believing 100% with my heart, speaking that belief 100% with my mouth out loud. And I know by what the Holy Bible says and by all the miracles he's worked through these, my prayers that he will answer all my prayers as long as I pray within his holy will. He'll do the same for you, my friends. Just test him. Try him. His word is always true. It never returns empty. I know we're all really busy. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video, but please don't just keep it to yourself. Share the link to this channel to a certain video. Share it with neighbors, relatives, friends, co-workers, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere online. When people go and start Googling and, and have articles about filth like homosexuality and stuff like abortion and all kinds of perversions or even just stuff like Food Channel or weather, just drop in something about Jesus Christ. Plant that seed, walk away and let it germinate. People need to hear the good news uncut of Jesus Christ these days. So they can be saved, repent of sins and iniquities. They can 
be blessed. Miracles can happen in their lives that they need. They can be motivated to get out in the fields and reap the harvest. It's all for the glory of God, never for me. I deflect all praise back to him. Well, I love you guys. I pray for you all the time. May God bless you. Thanks.